What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center here inside Waterford Lanes, where today I'm going to talk to you about that elbow. We wanna keep that elbow inside. Uh, we're gonna talk about the chicken wing and some of those things that deter you from being able to play the inside part of the ball, which then makes it to where it's very difficult to move your feet to the inside part of the lane. So we'll talk, I'll talk about all that here in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, so when it comes to the elbow, the elbow is one of the most important things with allowing you to stay to the inside part of the ball. What we don't want to do is we don't want to find ourselves where the elbow is pointing to the outside, which makes our hand go to the outside. This gives us what we call a spin. Now, most people would look at spinning the ball as a good thing because it's creating rotation, but we want to create the proper rotation. And without having our hand inside with the elbow pointed towards our hip, we're not going to be able to create the right rotation rotation with a little bit of forward roll to be able to create motion all the way through the entire lane. With our hand to the outside and spinning over the top, it's going to be a skid and then a hook. It's never going to get into a roll. It's never going to see the lane quick enough. We're going to have a hard time playing further in. So this is what gives us that over under ball reaction where when you miss your on a league pattern, it's more when you miss to the left, you miss the head pin to the right. When you miss to the right, it overreacts off the dry. On the tougher patterns, it's the opposite when you miss to the right the ball never recovers when you miss to the left it overhooks and goes to the face we don't want that we want to be able to blend the lane out a little bit and the only way, other way to do that is with urethane you obviously just saw the video i po posted about uh, using urethane on pressure patterns but with this, we want to be able to control the lane a little bit using our elbow. So we're going to throw some shots. We're going to take a look at, you know, a shot with the elbow out versus a shot with the elbow in. So here we go. Let's take, uh, let's take that envision that I had out here. And I'm just going to walk up nice and slow. And I'm going to think of my hand being out here with my hand to the outside, spinning it elbow outside. Which creates that oh look at that just dead side roll just goes crazy dead left into the gutter we don't want that that's over spin that's only gonna hurt you've seen that skid all the way to the back of the pattern then it went dead left now if we just walk up keep our hand to the inside elbow to the uh, to our hip and rotate properly through it gives us a little bit more, a little, a little bit more forward roll, a little bit more controllability. Okay, so that gives us something, a little bit more power, a little bit more leverage, all those things. We wanna make sure that our hand is to the inside. So if I do this and show you in slow motion, hopefully I can catch this other video. This other camera can catch it. Where your hand needs to be, is at the foul line when we're here in finishing position, our hand needs to be here. So the elbow, the point of the elbow right here is actually in towards our hip or our belt, okay? So it stays here and then we rotate from here to there and then it's forward roll, boom, just like this here, okay? The opposite thing, what we don't wanna do is having the elbow outside. So we don't wanna be to where we're like this, swinging the ball and the elbow is pointing towards that wall because then we get that side spin and our hand is on top of the ball, not underneath it and not to the inside. We wanna be on the inside and underneath it and then just roll it through and forward. Our palm can stay up and it can just roll and stay through it. Okay, so the next time you're practicing, really, really, really try and focus on keeping the elbow in. Do this drill, stay at the foul line, keep everything here. Now, some of you may have a difficult time doing it to where you're just gonna try to over rotate. If you have to, throw some backup balls. Get to the foul line, just like this, and throw some backup balls. This will help you really focus on keeping your elbow to the inside. So you can stay here, never rotate, just let it stay just like that and release it with a backup ball. So that way your elbow stays inside all the way, okay? Now this all of course is de determined on whether you have a good fit or not. If your ball doesn't fit you properly, you might not be able to do any of this. So make sure to head to your pro shop and make sure your ball fits properly, okay? So one more time, the next thing you can do is do a one step to create this. 
Okay, so now all we're gonna do is we're gonna stay back here, we're gonna swing it, and then we're gonna step, and we're gonna release the ball just as we normally would, except we're gonna try to keep the elbow in. Again, focusing on the elbow hitting the hip, or towards the hip, and our hand to the inside and underneath the equator of the ball, okay? So we swing, elbow in, and rotate just like that, okay? So everything comes here, boom, and it's rotated through to the right, palm up, everything inside, and you're good. What I mean by the equator is if my hand is here on top of the ball this way, let me get the ball real quick so you guys can, so you guys can see this. When my hand is in the ball at the foul line, we wanna be inside and below the equator of the ball. So if the equator is the center line all the way around, you wanna be below it, not on top of it. You don't wanna be this way. You never wanna release the ball from this way and that's what makes it really easy to go this way, okay? And a lot of this can be with how you're bending forward too. We don't wanna to be too far forward, that makes our hand go up on top. Once we come back, now it's easier to get up underneath and roll from the inside of the ball, okay? So I hope this helps. Make sure to subscribe, comment, like. If you have any other comments or anything about any of these techniques, make sure to let me know. Uh, and until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later.